Here is the completed project. The 2D drawing and the solid model are shown in paper space using two viewports. The first thing I'll do is to erase both viewports. They will be recreated later on. Since the drawings will be created in model space, I'll now click the model space button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though erased in paper space and that I split the screen into two vertical viewports. The new drawings will be created on the blank screen on the right. I created the two viewports leaving the 2D drawing intact on the left hand side to be used as a reference. Now let's proceed to make that 2D drawing on the right hand side. With ortho on, type L for line. Enter. Pick point A anywhere on the screen. Move the mouse downward and type 1.63. Enter. Then move the mouse to the left and type 2. Enter. Move the mouse upward and type 1.63. Enter. Then move the mouse to the right and type C to close. Enter. Now let's locate and draw the four holes. Type O to offset. Enter. Type 0.38. Enter. Select line AB and pick a point to the left. Repeat the command. Type 1.25. Enter. Select the line QR and pick a point to the left. You can repeat the offset command again or type O to offset enter. Type 0.19 enter. Select the line CB and pick a point above the line. Then you can repeat the command again. Type O to offset enter. Type 1.25 O enter. Select the line ST and pick a point above that line and then draw the four holes, one at each intersection. With the four holes located, we can now erase any unnecessary letters and any unnecessary lines. And now we're going to create the relief for the bend. I like I like to use the offset command a lot, so here's what we'll do. We'll type O again for offset, type 0.38, enter, select the line CB, and pick a point above the line. Then we're going to type 0.50, enter, select that same line CB, and pick a point above it. And we have the two parallel lines. Then we're going to type O to offset again. It was select, we're going to type 0 0.20, enter. Select the line AB and pick a point to the left of the line. For your convenience, I've labeled the relief at the points E, F, G, and H. Now we'll clean up the area of the slot. We'll type BR to break. Enter. We'll select the line EF. Enter. Type F for the first point. Enter. And select the intersection at point E. Then select the intersection at point F. Next, we're going to type F for a fillet and R0 to make sure that the fillet radius is 0. We'll select the lines EH and H G. Then we'll select the line. Then we'll repeat the command fillet radius zero and select the lines H G and D F. I mean select the lines H G and G F. With all that created, you will notice that the slot uh, appears very well. 
finally we're going to type O to offset again enter then type 0 0.075 which is the thickness of the material enter select the line FB and pick any point to the left and the tab is created in this view also I drew the right side view of the tab which is going to be necessary when we create the solid. And I'm also going to erase the letters which were placed there simply for your convenience. At this time, PE or polyline edit command can now be used to convert the perimeter of both these little drawings into two continuous polylines so that they can be extruded. I'll type PE enter. I'm asked to select a polyline. I'll select a line. Then I'm asked if I want to turn it into a polyline. They say, I say yes. Then type J to join and select all the perimeter. You can tell that the perimeter of both drawings are now continuous polylines because as I hover over them, you can see they show as one line. Since this is a sheet metal part, the wall thickness is con constant, 0 0.075, and I extruded uh, both drawings to that length. Now, of course, I have to subtract the holes from the parts. Now we want to use the 3D rotate command and rotate the tab 90 degrees in a clockwise direction. Then of course I have to move the tab to its proper location on the body of the bracket. And then we have to fill it the edge where the tab is bent, a radius, uh, an outside radius of 0 0.075. And of course, add some shading to make certain that the model appears correctly. And finally, I'll show the entire drawing in model space using only one viewport. Having finished the solid model, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing, so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. Now, to create the two viewports, I'll use the MView command and select two diagonal intersections to create the large and small viewports. I'll double-click inside the smaller viewport, switch to Southeast Isometric View, and then pan and zoom to enlarge the solid model. To get back to paper space, double click outside the small viewport. And remember that the two viewports should be created on a layer called viewports. Also, you have to remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of one to one even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it and clicking the Properties button. The standard scale is found under Miscellaneous. That is where you set a scale for the viewport. Once the scale is set, double-click inside the large viewport to gain access and pan so that only the 2D drawing is visible. To accomplish this, it is sometimes necessary to move the solid. Now double-click outside the large viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, if we don't want the large and small viewport rectangles to be printed, we can go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer viewports, which is where the viewports are located. 
The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please make a comment, for I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.